Ivana Hong is trying to show what a fighter she can be. Sixth place, that's a great spot if you're thinking of the Olympic trials, but she has not been at the world championship level that we have seen. No, she hasn't, and she really needs to be a lot more confident, a lot of balance checks, just not hanging with it. I did. Believing that it's going to be perfect in night one. Well, and I did speak to Marta about her performance after day one, and Marta had mentioned that she kind of tweaked that right ankle. You can see it's bandaged up, and, you know, in her mind, uh, it, it kind of took, you know, a little confidence out of Ivana. She felt that she just was thinking about that ankle way too much instead of what she should be doing. She told me it's her unique qualities that should help her earn a ticket to Beijing. And it's true. Yeah. She does have unique qualities. She has beautiful qualities on balance beam. You could watch a routine like this all day. Beautiful lines. And she just, attention to every little detail. It really, it does set her apart from a number of the athletes in this competition. But another thing that, that does, uh, she, she says, I'm, I'm also super competitive. I said, so how about things like even checkers? She says, oh, yeah. <laughs> I got to win everything. Well, she looks like a different gymnast today. She does. Yeah, she's great. She just got to put it all together. Double pike. Ooh, that was, that was close. <laughs> yeah. Shot that foot back to keep from sitting down. But it was much better than we saw in, in night one. <laughs> And now, and the draw is set up about as dramatically as you could ask for. Right behind Sean Johnson is Nastia Lukin. Seven tenths the difference. And she had a higher score in day one, so she could make up, potentially could make up a little bit more of that ground. And remember, in the key years of her development in this sport, she watched Carly Patterson work out every single day on her way to winning an all-around gold medal in Athens. They come from the same gym. You almost can't believe it. Yeah, she said that watching Carly and, and seeing it happen for her made her believe that it was possible that, yes, it can happen to me too. And on this event, she's just a natural talent. She's the world champion. This, this balance beam was made for her. It was made for her look, her style. She's exquisite on this event. I don't, I don't believe anyone does it quite as beautifully as Nastia. No, I, I'd have to agree with you there. She doesn't have the same level of difficulty. Sean Johnson gets a huge 16.3 for what she did on the balance beam. Yeah, that is a, that is a very big number. Three-tenths of a point higher than she did in day one. I believe Nastia scored 16.1. That's correct. But what you'll see in a totally different style is an elegance there's a fluidity to her work it's there's a calmness there's excellent flexibility she just you know works the balance beam like she's on the floor exercise Pretty darn good so yeah, far. <laughs> you know, all we can practice, there were routines that Nastia did that were back-to-back -back perfection. She didn't move. Watch this skill. She'll land. She'll do a front flip, and she'll land on one leg. This is her own move. And others are trying it, but they're not making it look quite like that. It's beautiful. And this leap that's coming up, believe it or not, this has the highest level of difficulty in the exercise right here. The reason she tips her head back and loses sight of that beam. Takes a little bit of risk. Just like on this dismount, it's a blind landing. Wow! That was big! That was big! Everything above 16.3 eats into Sean Johnson's 7 10 lead.
Well, I've actually seen Nastia do this routine and get only two-tenths of a point off in her execution score. If that was the case, she could be somewhere in the 16-5 range. I don't, I don't know if it's going to be that good, but... Tim, give everybody your explanation of why there can't be a rivalry here. Well, you know, in gymnastics, it, it's a little bit different because th there's no defense in a lot of the other sports. You have a direct impact. But watch this right here. She will do a front somersault and land exactly on one leg and go right to a beautiful scale. And that's a photograph right there. But that's all about, you know, like I said, no defense in gymnastics. So they really do, they really do get along better than most athletes. And she was fighting on this dismount, Tim. She has taken small little steps, but oh, just a tiny little bit of a hop. Barely noticeable. He's happy. When he's smiling like that, it was really good. Proud Papa right there. Well, the true test is a kiss. 